Do young people turn for inspiration when unemployment or underemployment stand in their way? For one engineer, a visit to a street shoeshine was the trick. In this story, Brian Kalaji talks to a young entrepreneur who is now sharing his success, his success with his peers through training. According to Enoch Mwangu Zikari Subura, it was a simple visit to Shushaina that inspired the vibrant and joyous young man. Kalia Subura, who is an agriculture engineer by training, prefers being referred to as EMK from initials from his three names, similar to the late Blaim Mwanga Chivirige, also known as BMK, who he says is his role model. Uh, actually, it was in 2018 and it was a challenge. Uh, that year I was going for an interview uh, in uh, one of the big agricultural company uh, here in Kampala. Then I decided to pass by a nearby shoe shine just to have my shoes uh, well furnished. Then while seated on a so observing what this gentleman was doing, I realized that uh, what he had was not magical. Yeah. So apart from the brush that he had, nothing else he had that I didn't have at home. So I was quick to ask him where exactly he bought that uh, brush from. And he told me he got it from downtown Kampala. But then I don't know what prompted me to ask him whether the brush was made from Uganda. EMK, as he liked to be called, has gone on to create Yoga Brush, a small-scale manufacturing company located in Kakajo, Boyogerere, which manufactures high-quality hair, shoe, and baby brushes from animal fur, majorly oxtails. I did some research and re I realized that worldwide, over 600 million kilograms brush waste disposed of annually, imagine. So, brush waste, yes. So if we don't act now, just know we are losing the next generation. So, and when I talk about these brushes, I mean all kinds of brushes, right from the toothbrushes, uh, the scrubbing brushes, like all kinds of brushes. Now imagine, every three months, a uh, human being is advised to change a toothbrush. Over 30 million Ugandans use toothbrushes on a daily, so meaning, we have millions and millions of plastic waste from only toothbrushes disposed of. So our idea is to grow bigger and we start producing uh, bamboo toothbrushes. At least the handle should be biodegradable. Because With a strong conviction about the standard of his products, EMK believes the utility derived from using his brushes gives consumers value for their money. We have what we call uh, value for money. You get that value for money. Our brushes are durable. Where the other synthetic brush spends a year, uh, for example, uh, with uh, an individual, our brush you spend three to five years using it. Then to the shoe shiners, those other synthetic brushes spend about six months. But if you're using our brush, that is one and a half years to two years. So meaning, of course, they are durable. And uh, when it comes to shining uh, the shoes, just move around Kampala, you realize that most of the shoe shiners use our brush. Yoga Brush employs a number of people in the neighborhood who also thrive on earnings from the manufactured brushes. Women are Kalia Subla's preferred choice of employees and he explains why. Uh, currently, uh, we have five of them uh, fully employed. However, we contract some people to come and help us here and there. There are some simple jobs, of course, maybe transportation. You contract with us to come and do the transportation. Maybe uh, those ones will pass, cut the wood. You know, we don't have the machinery here. So there are some people we employ, not within here, but we employ them from where they are. So basically, in total, there are about 10. But majority, 80% are women. Hadija Nalukeng is an employee of Yuga Brush, and she has this to say about her job. I love my job. It gives me no pressure. I can cook for my children at home and work here as well. I'm saving the money I make here so that in the future I can start my own business. Yuga Brush also provides free training to interested people and later employs them. A unique impact model. So our aim is to help them learn everything about a brush. But when a person reaches that point where perhaps they would love to do their own job, uh, we would like to help them transition from being employees in a shoe company, I mean a shoe brush company, to perhaps doing another job in line with what we are doing. For example, if we help them start a store that sells 
shoe brushes. Now that is to our advantage. Despite the COVID-19 pandemic, Yoga Brush still thrives as the proprietor confirms. You see, the situation we are in, almost two years, students at home, but we are still operating. So meaning, we earn something, we earn a profit, though not all that big, but we earn a profit that is able to run the company and to pay the workers. Having been a teacher before, he works hand in hand with the mothers he employs to help teach their children who are currently at home due to the pandemic. He goes on to teach the children several subjects while their mothers attend to duties. So we give them simple assignments. I have a print at my home. We type some work. We give them. They do tests. We mark. Personally, I'm a pro I don't want to say I'm a professional teacher, but at least I taught for over five years mathematics and physics, senior to senior six. So, of course, nothing can challenge us to teach these young people. So we help them. A product of MasterCard scholarship, EMK has a dream to manufacture all kinds of brushes for Uganda, East Africa, and Africa at large. It challenges youths to pursue finding solutions for several challenges we have in Uganda. Countries like China have become economic powers from small startups that started way back, a few decades back. I'm very certain with projects like this, Uganda is very much on track and Ugandan youths will generate more employment for fellow youths and women. Kalashi Brian, CTV, PM Edition.